And while the Director General of the National Emergency Management Agency, Mustafa Habib Ahmed, is asking Nigerians to be vigilant and report shady activities within their environment to forestall disasters of all kinds. The Nema DG gave this advice in Ibadan when he visited the explosion site in Bodija to assess the level of damage caused by the disaster. Regulatory bodies must all sit up. Where we have people keeping piles of explosives in a residential area is not acceptable. Disaster management is everybody's business. If you see something, you say something. If you see something, you say something. We are not on ground zero. We have lost more than 58, about 58 houses are damaged. We have lost about three lives have been lost. We don't know the number of... But TVC News Oladio Iwole has been monitoring development in Ibadan for the past 48 hours. He joins us live now from Ibadan. Olaide, uh, 48 hours after families of victims are still in search of their relatives. Talk to us about their optimism. These people haven't seen their relatives yet. And uh, this um, testifies to the fact that people are still under the refuge and there is a need for more ants to be on set. There is a need for the um, rescue, um, rescue team to up their game to ensure that um, these people are brought out of the rubble. So today we, we saw quite a number of family members who have come to see that, to see whether um, they can still, I mean, they can see their people around or their people have been brought um, out of the rubble. But unfortunately for them, uh, a lot of them were disappointed today. So uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of questions were asked. Why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? So it means that the operation team needs to up their game to at least let these people know their faith at this time. What they do? All right, Alaide. I, I can just imagine you know, what they're going through 48 hours after. But we really do hope that you know, rescue operations would... Uh, would speed up and then to get to the end of it. Thank you very much, Olaide Oyewole, for that update for us.